In today's video, we take a look at a woman who left his ex-boyfriend six months ago, but has returned and demands a birthday gift, and this woman here who thinks she has figured out men. But before we jump in, please make sure to subscribe the channel and turn on the bell notification. I read all the books on dating and psychology and here are the three ways to make a man have no choice but to chase after you. Be busy. You gotta fit him in. Never make yourself too available for a man. I don't care if your entire day is free, you're busy. Schedule a week in advance. Please and thank you. Don't be overly impressed by his behavior. You need to act like the nice things he does for you are expected. But this is standard. Like, this is standard. Like, no shit. <laughs> if you make it seem like he's doing something spectacular, he's not gonna chase you anymore. This one's the most important one. You need to be okay with him walking away at any point. Like truly, in your core, you have to feel okay with him walking out at any point because he'll feel that energy. It'll make him go insane and chase you. Trust me, fall for more. I said it before, I'll say it again. You need to get to the point where if a guy does not like you, it gives you the ick. It is disgusting that he cannot appreciate the work of art that is in front of him, he has horrible taste and he is ugly now. So a guy is horrible and ugly because he rejected you. That's a really good logical way to look at this. And here is the part that was not covered in those books. A strong man will instantly walk away from a woman who shows selfish and narcissistic traits because only a simp would tolerate all the things you listed. And next, we have a man who wants women to make the first move for more clarity from the get-go. I have a theory, and I need girls to, to back me up on it. Um, girls, any girl who initiated their relationship, like they, they sent the first DM, they maybe boldly even asked on the date, they took they, they did as far as to make the date happen. Whatever you did where, like, you were the one that, like, obviously made it, because I know girls will say, well, I was, like, doing this, like, I was looking at him, I was doing this. If you're a girl and you made an obvious sign, to initiate you and your now boyfriend and husband's relationship? Let me know. Because my theory is that those relationships last. Because as a man, if I already know that you actually want me and I don't have to like try to figure it out, it fully allows me to just be myself and give you all of me. And we're already like five steps ahead of the people who are like, I have to worry about in fucking ick and all this other bullshit. I already know you want me. Cool. Let's go. Let's get it. Let's boom, boom, boom. Want to be my girlfriend? Want to do this and this? Want to get married? Let's, let's run away together. You want me? Let's run away. Let's go. Yes, it really helps a guy and takes away all the doubts and illusions that can come in his mind. But even in such a case, he has to be careful because there are a plethora of women who are only interested in a guy just so they can use him for their benefits no matter how absurd those benefits might be, as we just see in this clip here. You promised me, in my birthday day, you are going to buy me the handbag of Chanel. Sorry? Do you remember when you promised me at my birthday you are going to give me the Chanel bag? Okay, but that's when we were together, love. Like, you broke up with me? Yep, yeah, but a promise is a promise. Okay, so what do you want? I came here to get my handbag. Your handbag? Yeah, but you, we broke up six months ago. Doesn't matter, we broke up six months ago. You told me on my birthday you are going to give me the handbag. Yeah, when we were together. We're not together anymore, so... It doesn't matter, like, when we're, we're not together anymore, so why, yeah, like, I don't understand why you're here. If we are together or not together, that doesn't matter, but you actually, you make a promise, and I always keep my word when I say something, and you should do too. You told me you are going to give me my birthday the handbag. Yeah, so I said that I'll get you a handbag when we were like boyfriend and girlfriend. We're not, we're not together anymore. We're not, we're, we're not in anything anymore. Is this a joke or what? Does she not have common sense? Or is she so deluded in her mind that she really can't read the situation here? Because let me tell you, this is actually insane, even for modern women. So, but now you've come to me in my house saying to me, hey, where's my bag? Of course. What, what do you mean, of course? Che la figura della pezzente. Sorry? Mi dici delle cose e poi non le fai? 
I uh, love, love. It's your birthday. Go spend it with your family. Go spend it with your friends. I don't care. Yes, Not with me. I will do you... that later on. But now I come to collect my gift because you promised me a gift for promise. my birthday. Can I come to take my gift? So I can oh, go to the gift? party. We've broken up. We've broken up. We've bro we're broken up. It's like me saying to you, no, 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 hold, hold on a minute, yeah, hold on a minute, yeah, here, yeah, sunshine, yeah, hold on a minute, here, yeah, love, yeah. It's like me saying to you, you promised me commitment in our relationship, but then you said, oh, no, 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 I want to break up from the relationship. No, it, it doesn't work like that. Cool, you broke up from the relationship with me, that's fine, I moved on. Maybe that is the real issue for her that you moved on and she can't find another man like you, so she has come back to make your life miserable by causing this drama in front of your house. But now you can't come to my house saying, oh, where is my bag? It, 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 life, life doesn't work like that. If I say something, even if we break up, I'm still keeping my word. Mica sono come te. No, 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 but, no, but because in the start of that relationship, you made a word to commit to the relationship. So if you can't commit to the relationship, then you can't commit to the rewards from the relationship. No, so there's no word? bag. You are keeping the word. Listen, listen, I don't have the time to waste with you. Prom properly. Okay, but you've got the time to come to my house to, 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 to ask for a bag. Of course. What? Give me the gift and I will go away. Because I even don't want to see your funny face. <laughs> there is no gift. If you want a bag, you can go to the Chanel shop and get it yourself. So uh, you are not giving me the gift. So let me say this to our friend, uh, that you promised something and you didn't keep the, your word. How does he feel? No, I, 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 no, the thing is, I didn't even promise you anything. I just said to you, cool, yeah, on your you birthday, we went shopping. You, you said that you wanted this bag and I said, cool, I'll get you it for your birthday. But we broke up a long time ago and, and now you're here. Isn't it funny that she hates his face? but doesn't hate the fact that she is demanding a gift from him? I mean, how illogical and fantasized her reality just might be that she thinks it's cool to cause a scene in front of your ex's house because he won't buy you a bag after she decided to leave him six months ago. And next, we have this woman here who is again ranting illogically. Ladies, we are being tricked by men, and you have to stop doing it. Whenever a guy is asking you what you look for in a man, stop telling him. You are literally giving him a cheat sheet on how he needs to act in order to win you over. So that means even if he isn't those things, he knows exactly how to act in order to make you fall for him. Instead, next time a guy asks you what you look for in a man, respond like this. How about you show me the type of guy you are and I'll tell you if you're what I'm looking for. We, I think, have always waited or wanted the guy to hit on us because that's like the masculine thing or whatever. But if you think about it, we're doing ourselves a disservice too because it's like that fab fit fun box. Like it's already like curated and of items that they think that you'll want. And then you just got to kind of pick the best of like the stuff that they sent you in a box. So you're like, oh, I guess this tart lip gloss is pretty cool and I'll just give the rest of the stuff to my friends. Why live like that? Why don't you go out and like find someone? Like if you see a good looking guy, whether it's at the gym, I hate the bar dating scene, but there or someone on Instagram or whatever, you could hit on a guy, not look stupid.